Hello, welcome to episode 33 of Middleware Friday, September 22nd, 2017. Integration end-to-end -end monitoring challenges in Microsoft Azure today. That's something we're going to talk about. So monitoring your integration end-to-end -end solution you have in Azure. And we'll be discussing that through a real life um, scenario. And it's another scenario I created to kind of explain um, what kind of your challenges could be with regarding to monitoring your end or end solution in Azure. And in this episode, we do not have any community content. As Ken already announced, um, I'm being onboarded on the Middleware Friday. So I'm going to be one of your new show, uh, show hosts uh, every alternating week. So I'm kind of doing the, all the um, uneven episodes of Middleware Friday going forward. So we talk about monitoring um, in Azure. It's quite interesting. If you know, you're familiar with BizTalk going back in the day, you had the, uh, the management console you could use that was on-premise, wasn't web-based, um, giving you kind of uh, full control um, in your BizTalk environment if you had the appropriate account for it. And going forward, uh, a third party, so this is the kind of BizTalk 360 created a monitoring operational kind of solution for it, web-based, also including health monitor and some of the other capabilities with regards to monitoring operation that you could find in different um, tools, but it's all being consolidated into one. And that was in the days if you had Bistock Server um, and doing monitor and Bistock and yet Bistock 360 monitoring your uh, integration solutions um, predominantly on prem. Now with Microsoft Azure and some of the um, components you can find there where you can build up your integration solution. So you can talk about functions, logic apps, and service bus, for instance, those three combined, you can kind of create an integration end-to-end -end solution. And looking at monitoring from that perspective, you know, what do I have with regards to monitoring uh, my end-to-end -end solution? So I've got application inside, I've got OMS, operation management suite, um, I can use Power BI, uh, I've got Kudu, which regards more to functions or functions being hosted into a web job. It's kind of a Windows service running into in an Azure itself. Um, you can have log analytics. So some of the um, services have uh, log analytics uh, in that blade. You can find it there. And there, for instance, for uh, the service bus, there is a third party tool, which is the service bus um, 360. So it's kind of build up of the service bus explorer once built by Paula Salvatore, but now it's a fully fledged uh, managed product uh, license, but then also with support. So there's now kind of a vendor where you can go to say, hey, I need a monitoring capability for a service bus. But with regards to all these tooling and stuff, there's nothing that's a one size fits all solution compared a little bit to the, when you look at BizTalk, when you had the BizTalk 360 that evolved to almost kind of a one size fits all solution, but you don't have that kind of capability of tooling in Azure yet for an integration solution. And let me explain or dig in a little bit further with one of the challenges um, with an uh, integration end-to-end -end solution you see here. Um, this is a solution and a high level um, uh, diagram of it, um, of an integration end-to-end -end solution uh, I created a few months ago for a customer, a customer that was uh, delivering products and services around um, environmental control in non-residential buildings and glass houses. And they used to do on, uh, online tra or, uh, training in-house with classrooms, but it kind of, you know, with the more digital age and, and with courses you can follow online and also with, um, you know, being more environmental friendly and lower the costs for following those courses. They kind of consolidated all their knowledge around the services and their products into online courses. So maybe you find edX, but this case it was um, hosted up to a, a SaaS solution called LMS 365 for e-learning environment. So all those courses were there, but now that company wanted to know, okay, if my partners and my customers are going to follow those courses, I want to know what the status is. And that's where the integration solution you see depicted here came into place. So the LMS 365 API supported also a webhook mechanism. 
So based on that, when we created a custom API with a webhook handler to kind of um, get those events or kind of prime those events that the subscription uh, was being arranged in the LMS365 API and it pushed out the um, events or messages towards that custom API we set up. So with that URL, uh, they could do posts of, of those messages to that custom API. That custom API had that webhook handler and was able to send those messages up to a service queue. So to have some durability in there and not losing any messages coming from LMS365. Then we had a web job with a function with a service bus trigger that was listening to that service bus um, queue, picking up those messages, send those over to a logic app that wrapped around, had a, a, good, a good connector. So a lot of the complexity was in that connector. And so you can easily build up a solution to communicate with a dynamic CRM. So the course participant courses were registered in there. And then of course, subsequently when someone started a course or completed a course, all those kind of statuses were being put in there. So holistically seeing they had a lot of data around their customers, but now they had extra data also seeing what kind of courses they were following, et cetera, et cetera. And then subsequently they were able to do some marketing or automation or anything else uh, with regarding to that uh, expanded um, or enriched data set. But looking at this, so there's a few touch points here. And, you know, if you want to monitor, then you kind of, you want to maybe monitor your traffic between your APIs. Uh, you want to monitor that service bus. Uh, you want to see how that web job is, is doing and if it's healthy. Uh, that's also compared, that's also accounts for the API and service bus. And that's also, you got your logic apps. So those kind of a few challenges uh, because you have multiple tools looking into the, the health of, of each of those uh, services. To make it more, um, to let's dive into it, I kind of used a, a, a different type of scenario. That's more a logistic process. Um, I blogged about this too on the Visto 360 blog. But I don't want to dive into it to really showcase um, what some of the challenges could be um, with regards to monitoring a solution end-to-end uh, -end where you use some of those integration capabilities in Azure. So this is kind of similar. Um, this is a logistic process. As soon as an order is being created, a notification will be sent out. Okay, this is an order that needs to go to a certain shop. Then another uh, moment in time that order is being picked and then leaves through a carrier to that shop. So that's your second message. And then the order ultimately arrives at that shop and then they inspect the, the order and say, hey, it was complete or hey, it was incomplete or hey, it was damaged. And then if you look at some of those um, components here, you got the API, which could potentially be monitored by uh, application insights. You got a service bus topic where you can use service bus 360. You got your logic apps, which can be really monitored by the operation management and suites, um, suite. So you have some operational insights there. You got a function that's uh, running, that's triggered upon uh, a document DB store within uh, a Cosmos DB, where you could potentially, uh, for instance, could use Kudu or application insights. And then further down the line, if something happen, uh, if if the order is damaged or incomplete, an alert will be sent out um, that will come to a, a queue, which will be uh, subsequently be listened to by Logic App, and it will send out a notification, but also um, logs those um, types of uh, damaged orders or incomplete orders uh, into um, Power BI, so you can have some functional monitoring there as well. So those are kind of it's fragmented and it is distributed. So there's certain touch points where you can use monitoring capabilities um, provided in Azure or for a party. And that's what this depicts. And some have more capability that you can so operate on or you have to do some other stuff to um, correct an error. So let's look at the, um, the messages. So this is the, the, the first messages or first message in this scenario where uh, this is the notification, so you don't know the departure time or when it arrives or in, and so forth. So the second manage, uh, message is when that order leaves and then it's en route, but the arrival time is not yet known. The expected arrival time is. And then once it arrives, then uh, it could be that, hey, I got the order, but it, it was damaged. So those are kind of the messages. So now let's go to to Azure. So this is kind of the, the resource group. I have all those components in there. 
there's a logic app, so let's let's go to that one first. Um, it run a few times com completely successfully. If it doesn't run successfully, it can be notified within your monitoring tool, but then again, you have to come back into the logic app to kind of resubmit it through the resubmission. So you can look into it, you can follow through the steps, so you really can drill down, but then you have to do it within the uh, specific logic app and using some of the capability in the blades. And here you have that resubmit button, and as you know, I've seen maybe if you looked at logic apps before or investigated, you can really dive into certain steps and look what um, the, the in and outputs is and etc. Now this um, and the other logic app I have, I have two, one that pulls the message and puts them into that Cosmos DB document DB store. And then the other one is kind of pushing it out to, um, for a, to, to push out the notification if something goes wrong with the order itself. At least the message being uh, from the shop is like, hey, I got the order, but it's, it's damaged. And in both cases, um, I've got some diagnostic setup. You can see that here, just to give you an example that it's, uh, you can, for a logic app, you can either archive to a storage account, you can stream it to an event hub, uh, but you can also send it to a log analytics and then you can push it through to OMS. And OMS, I'm gonna switch over to that one now, has, a new pre uh, uh, capability in there where you can monitor where, um, all your logic apps. Um, this is still kind of in preview, but um, you can use this to look into um, into your logic apps, and here you can drill into like, okay, these have succeeded, etc. But if you really want to operate upon your um, logic app because something fails, then you kind of have to go back to your server itself. Now going forward to or to the other part, or one of the first part is um, it's Service Bus 360. So um, with Service Bus 360, let me just go back a bit. Is you know I have this topic. There's an audit topic which kind of receives all the messages, as you can see here. And there's one that um, is being listened to by that Logic app, and you really can go into. You can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, within that service bus 360 you can look at the properties um, from a queue for instance um, i can also get some of the messages and and look into those let's go to details so it's really a rich tool where you can monitor your queues your topics or your relays or those type of capability within the service bus is available and there's tons of other features uh, in there so definitely something you can explore and there's a, a trial version available too. But just to give you <clears throat> kind of um, an impression what this capability can do. So this is the third party tool that monitors your um, your um, service bus. So you can also put alerts upon and you can say, okay, if if my queue is filling up, then I can get an alert. You can certain set a certain threshold um, to do that. So that's got that kind of capability in there as well. Now there's also a function. So the function um, is something you can monitor as well, but then you have to go into the function app and then look into your function itself and then click on the monitor um, part of your function. And then you can, like here, you can look into the message itself. And there's also something like a Kuru, so here you can look into Kudu itself. So already drill down a bit and then here you can look also look at the status. So you can really drill into uh, what happens in the background using Kudu for uh, instance, if you got a web job and or uh, a web job with function or function itself. But then you're really going into deep into your um, function in this case. So that's another way of really going into it. But then again, it's another tool. Now let's switch over to Power BI. So um, one of the logic app pushes out a message to a stream data set, which is then used to lock uh, a field um, delivery of, a, of an order. And, and here's two orders that both have been received, but they were damaged. So you can do some visualization around them and you can make that more um, appealing to certain 
people that are, that are responsible for monitoring the um, the orders and see the, to it that if there are incidents to, to act upon them, but also make get some more insight what happens. You really can look into, okay, which carrier has the most damage or incomplete orders, etc. So there's tons of things you could do with this type of, of, of monitoring. And hopefully you also get an email. So I got an example here that's being sent um, towards another admin saying, hey, you got a damage goods out and that's kind of an incident and then he can act upon it um, to correct that um, order or um, to send out a new order, etc. So this is kind of what I demoed um, for you guys to get you really give you a sense that um, there's no one size fits all uh, solution yet and there's fragmented solutions um, they are good solutions but you have to look at different places to to really see what happens within your integration solution and that's kind of a, a, a big challenge and you really have to get familiar with all of these kind of tooling and know what they can do for you um, OMS is, is a great tool where with the um, extra capability which is in preview you can look into the logic apps but then from a more holistic view of all your logic apps but if you operate upon them, then you still have to go into the um, logic app itself. Um, if you want to look into, for instance, into your orders collection uh, within Cosmos DB, then you really have to go into the um, that service and then use some of the queries to look in that. So that's another uh, thing um, you have to look for. So there's there's all kind of things around monitoring in in Azure. If you look to um, an end-to-end -end way of, of monitoring and operating upon it. So, and I kind of want to give you a good um, solid um, view um, of, of, you know, what, what you have to look for, what, you have, um, what are you kind of your challenges could be. And because there are tons of, of solutions uh, possible with just, you know, using Service Bus Logic App and Functions. And there's new capabilities being added upon uh, with regards to messaging, which is the event grid um, that still needs to evolve a little bit more because that also needs some more um, monitoring and operation capability, which is not present there yet. Okay, if you got any uh, feedback, keep them coming. You can uh, can send those to uh, the email, um, or you can do that through Middleware Friday and uh, the Twitter handle. And that's it for now. And thanks for watching. I'd like to um, thank Bishop360 again being a great host for, for this show. Uh, when you watch this, uh, it will be close to a little over a month that there will be Integrate US. So if you want to attend, um, <clears throat> where also monitoring will be one of the topics and that will be something about the service bus 360 which will be presented by Sarahana. but there will be other mvps uh, me myself will be there there will be tons of people from microsoft discussing some of these services i touched upon here uh, as well so definitely if you got the time um, and the budget for it definitely come um, look us up um, in redmond um, at the end of october and I'll leave you with some of the credits for 